uh, you know, <laughs> it took literally, literally until right this second for me to remember that today is technically in the meantime. So there should have been a five, my, like, my, my normal little five minute countdown. Like, like there should have been, there should have been this thing, but, uh, I, I kind of forgot about it. So still we're just gonna play the opening and roll with it. Let's go, gamers. Hey, well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Failboats YouTube. Welcome, everybody. I love that opening, man. Like, 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 well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon. It's a fun one. I thought that one like seven years ago, and clearly it's carried me decently. How is it going, everybody? We're gonna be playing some Splatoon today. We're gonna be playing uh, Delta Rune, and then we're gonna be playing some Metopia. It's gonna be a fun one. Uh, normally, this stream would be happening uh, tomorrow. Uh, Flexpo. That's right, baby. Um, but yeah, normally this stream would be happening tomorrow, but I'm actually going to be attending a big charity live stream extra extra life event thing that my local college is hosting. Uh, pretty much they're hosting a Smash Bros. tournament, and we they, they really want commentators and, and a very stacked tournament. And I'm, I'm one of the top three players in, in the entire Vermont state. So I was like, you know, I really should make an effort to actually attend that. And uh, make sure I'm, I'm, I'm doing the commentary goodness. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a uh, a big little event. I, I got it, man. I'm actually very excited for it. Also, if my mic sounds weird, let me know. I, I made a lot of adjustments in the last day or so. Um, because of the Smash Direct. And so I had to completely change around my mic settings. So, let me know if this doesn't work. Uh, also, who was Ender that scrolled by in chat? Sorry, I, I saw someone in chat say, I think it was Ender. Uh, asking if I was feeling better. Yeah, I didn't stream yesterday just because I was feeling kind of, kind of poop. Uh, like, I did the Smash Direct that I could, you know, like, one of those overwhelming anxiousnesses that sort of creeps up on you and then just sort of, like, sits in your stomach for a while? I'll pass it's all fives. Uh, it just sort of sits in your stomach for a while and you really don't, you're just not feeling good. <laughs> it was more or less one of those things and I was like, I really, like, like, I, I can play video games. Like, I was playing a little bit of Rivals of Aether yesterday because I just had a little bit of fun with it. But, uh, I was like, man, I just don't want to talk. Like, <laughs> I would rather just lie down for a while and, and just, just play games. And that almost, that almost, like, perpetuated it. Because you know that feeling, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a, a good little example to draw to. You know that feeling when you're, um, procrastinating on something and then you're like, eh, I can play Splatoon and you're playing Splatoon and you're like, uh, this feels really bad. It, 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 it's like nothing feels right. Like you don't want to work, but you also don't want to take time off because you're just like sitting in the t doing whatever you do in your time off, and you're like, ah, this, is, uh, this doesn't. Uh. <laughs> like, like nothing, nothing feels right, dude. Literally, like that feeling, but turned into like one of those. I don't really know because I wasn't really anxious. It was just one of those like I don't know. I think what got me. I'm gonna be dead on. I think what like, like kicked it off was the Smash Ultimate event and the stream not really going all right as I was hoping. Yeah, in case you guys missed it, the Smash Ultimate stream, the reaction stream I did, um, had a lot of audio issues and I think that got to me a little bit. I was just like, ah, man, I, I had very, I, it was like the final Smash Direct that I messed up the audio. I'm, I'm not beating myself up for it, don't get, don't get me wrong. But I was, I, I think that got me a little bit. I was like, ah, man, I kinda dropped the ball on that one. Either way, I'm very glad I at least recorded the uh, the reactions to World of Light because that, that that was a very very good thing. It's also crazy. I make like I make like one Smash Ultimate video, like, like, like a three minute no editing, just like recording reactions uh, Smash Ultimate video. I think it's sixty thousand views. Like goodness, Smash Ultimate is going to be a battery pack on my channel. I cannot wait. It's been so long since Nintendo put out one of those like really kind of quality games like Mario Party is fine but Mario Party in my opinion has like a limit to what you can do mainly because you can't do it online I feel like, like that's that's one of its that's one of my least favorite things I feel if you could play it online it would have a lot more to actually work with and you, you wouldn't be as limited uh, but like Nintendo just hasn't put out anything like Breath of the Wild or Odyssey or any like a fair bit uh, like Kirby, Kirby has been like an absolute blessing to have. Uh, but now we're gonna be getting a new Kirby game with the World of Light. But like, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just one of those things. Like, I'm just, I'm just waiting on Nintendo's next, next, next big thing. And that, that is going to be Smash, but, well, technically the next big thing is going to be Pokemon. Poke, yo, are you guys excited for Ultra, uh, no, I'm just not uh, excuse me. Are you guys excited for, um, Let's Go? Because I know a lot of people are, are, are kind of, like, on the fence of Let's Go. They're like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, like, a lot of people are like, well, it's not really a core Pokemon game. It's more a game for the kitties. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's what they say about a lot of Pokemon games. It's a super casual down Pokemon game, I'll give you that. Like, I don't even know if you can Nuzlocke it. There's gonna be so many, like, things with that, right? Normally, I Nuzlocke my Pokemon runs for the initial thing. I don't think I can Nuzlocke this one. I'm not sure if it's, like, built to be able to Nuzlocke. But, like... I I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> let's go more like, let's not, lol. I see you, chat. Um, yeah, personally, I am hyped for it. I feel like as long as you remind yourself, it's a spin-off game. This is a Pokemon-inspired Pokemon game. This might actually be more akin to like a fan Pokemon game in some areas. So as long as you like remember that- why what a strange angle for that thing, right? As long as you keep that in mind, I feel like you should be able to like enjoy the game much more than um than if you're going into the, with the mentality of like, boy, I can't wait for Gen 10 to be so good, you know, like, you gotta go into it with a completely different mentality than what you normally go into it. So, I'm personally hyped for Pokemon Let's Go. I hope that carries over, because I feel like Nintendo fans are a little starved for that fun single player content. I feel like it's just been a while since we got something that's real, like, 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 a, like a nice meaty game to, uh, to work with. And I think, like, that is going to be, like, a, a really fun game again. Because, like, what's the last big core Nintendo game we got in, like, recent memory? Like, Mario Party, yes. But I mean, like, like single player. Something, something like Odyssey. Something you can bite your teeth into and, and, and enjoy the single player experience. I think it's got to be Kirby. Oh, also, thank you for the support, Future Potato. What's my name again? Future Potato it is. Um... But yeah, I, I just like, it, it, I feel like it's been a while since we got that. I feel even Smash isn't delivering it. Like, think about this, right? What is our next big single player game? Like, Pokemon. Pokemon is our next big single player game, yes. But beyond that, what, what do we got? Like, I think we got Metroid coming up. No, 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 no. I take it back, I take it back. We have Yoshi. We have Yoshi, Woshi, Lamoshi. I forgot all about him. Yoshi is coming up. Metroid, hopefully, will eventually be coming up. We also did get, um, Octopathy, or not Octopath, um, Octo Expansion. Although, that, that, that I'll, I'll count that, I'll count that. We're also gonna be getting Animal Crossing in the night for. But I don't know, I just, like, hmm, I want release dates. Cause I, like, okay, do we know the release dates on a lot of these things? Oh my goodness, give me one second. Data, hold on. Um, <clears throat> do we know... The release dates on these things, because I know that Yoshi, Yoshi with the Moshi, was shown off. Uh, could you stop with the Stingrays? It was shown off very recently um, at the Smash Direct. The Smash Direct featured uh, gameplay of uh, of the new Yoshi game, and so I wonder if there's going to be like a little bit of a like, like short release time between the actual release of that game now that they're showing gameplay of it so casually. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. This is also where we die. From what I understand. From what I understand. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, now, now it's where we die. Now it's where we die. No! I might have been able to save that, but I don't know, man. That's a wrap. <clears throat> what about Luigi? Oh, poor Luigi. I mean, Luigi's Mansion is gonna be cool, but every time I see Luigi now, I just remember Smash Ultimate Luigi. Y'all, do you guys care? Okay, okay, okay. Let me t let me test the waters for you guys real fast here. Also, uh, let me just read this off. Thank you, Future Potato. Last time I donated, and if you say my name, I donated more. I will keep doing this. Please do not. I feel really bad because I want. I don't want you to just keep donating more on my behalf. Donate if you feel like the donation is worth it. Me reading your name is not a donation-worthy cause. IMO. Anyway, um, thank you for the support regardless. Uh, oh, and also, speaking of that, thank you, uh, Justin Flame for the support. Goodness. 
Hi, Phil. Well, me and my brother love your videos. Uh, thank you for making them. And also, Wumi. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, and thank you, uh, man with a shy guy in his profile picture. You said my name again for the support. This is, I'm gonna stop reading your name because I feel guilty if I if I keep reading it. Also, um, what was the thing I wanted to say? Uh, right. Okay, let me test the waters real fast. On a scale of one to ten, chat. On a scale of one to ten. Hey, I'm 15. Before I even hear the prompt. Oh, I should have also said. Sorry. Uh, I'm joining. I'm, I'm creating a new crew. If you've been in the previous crew, don't join in the next crew. That way, we can get in as many people as possible. Um. Skill of one to ten. Are you, how interested in competitive Smash Bros or anything like that? Are you guys? Like, like hmm. <laughs> Ramsh, you don't have to consider it spam. It's all good, my dude. Um. But yeah, how interested in competitive Smash are you? Six, seven, seven, nine, eight. Let me, let me, stop the numbers for a second, stop the numbers for a second. Let me, let me give an example, just to give you guys some, some stuff to work with here. Um, so stop the numbers. Let's say one is, nah, I don't want to watch it, I don't really care about being too good. Uh, I, I, I literally do not care about being good, I just want to buy the game, play with items, play the, play the story mode, play with the spirits on, all that stuff. That's what one is. 10 is, okay, I want to become a professional Smash Brothers player. 5 is somewhere like, yeah, I want to attend some tournaments. I, 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 would, I would like to try and see if I could actually be kind of okay. Um, and then, like, if you want to be better than your friends, we'll put that at, like, a 3 or a 4. You guys feel me? So now, with that said, what, what, what numbers are you looking at? What's going on with my Joy-Cons? My Joy-Cons just keep disconnecting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eight! <laughs> uh, let me see your muscle. Well, that's a strange comment. Four, five, four. Okay, 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 okay. That's interesting. So actually, uh, I, I, I bring this up now and again, because I forget if people know. I know some people know and some people don't. I actually play uh, Smash Bros. competitively in, in, my, in my state. I'm, I'm currently the second best player in uh, Smash 4 in Vermont. It's a very fun thing to do on the side. Got it. But um, I was considering making... I don't... Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know what kind of ultimate content to make. I'll, I'll tell you what's on my mind right now, gamers. I don't know what kind of ultimate content to make. Because ultimate leaves, lives so many different lives for me. Like, I am... A big Smash Bros fan because it was pretty much the series that got me into video gaming to begin with it's something that will do good on my channel no matter what I do kind of because Smash Bros is Smash Bros and because I'm, I'm a Nintendo focused variety channel we're all about today um, and but I also play it competitively so it's it's one of those things like should I like explain some competitive smash to you guys like I feel like a lot of people, for or for a lot of people, this is this could potentially be their first game that where they, you know, actually kind of care about being good, because that usually happens with Smash Bros. fans after, after a certain age hits. Everyone wants to be like, yeah, let me try and be good. So I'm I'm just like interested. Like, should I actually do some some content that gives some insight into the competitive mindset, even if it's not designed? Let's say what I'm doing. Is helping you be a better player not for the sake of attending tournaments it can be I feel I feel like I can give some different some different like things you can practice and work on no matter your skill level uh, blah 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 well welcome to my live streams pretty much how to do um, but yeah welcome to no but yeah I, I'm really not sure what, 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 what level I should be doing the content for because without a doubt I will be streaming the I will be streaming some of my practice sessions because I do practice I actually practice Smash Bros like people practice basketball from time to time I, I, I practice Smash Bros with the intent of being as good a player as I can be um, but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just interested in what you guys think also disconnect Nito oh 
We have a new, new, a new donation. Thank you very much. And on uh, Kathy, yeah, have a good night. Um, hold on one second. Uh, yo, what you snacking on? I love that that lives on. Makes me so happy that what you snacking on, gamers, lives on. Oh, uh, that's like one of my favorite jokes. I think that was from the me and me and Liz doing the um, uh, that stream. What was the stream? The um, the food one. The, don't starve, don't starve. The food one, he says. The food one, he says. Feel about four, 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 and five. Whoops, I'm so bad. I'm not attentive. I'm not attentive. I'm even the person with the special to like get rid of that. A disconnect. It happens. Um. But yeah, I'm whole, I, I, I wanna I wanna give you guys some insight. You will get some stuff with all this donation. Yeah, I'll pay my bills and <laughs> various other things. Uh, that being said, it's more of just a a supportful thing. I'm comfortable right now. But yeah, <laughs> the moon. <laughs> Ever the description and realize it's Friday? Yeah, it's a little bit off. Well, here. Uh, let's do at least one more so I can get that new hat. How long do you plan to play Splatoon 2? Same as I usually do, just one hour per each game. Although the one change to that is potentially on Deltarune. I, I kind of want to play Deltarune until it's done? But we'll see. I still check Twitter sometimes. I check Twitter too much. <laughs> I'm, prob I'm probably checking Twitter right now without even realizing it, honestly. In fact, I might just do it without even realizing. I remember the curse Fortnite Splatoon 3, yeah, right? Hello from Hungary. Hey! Welcome, Winged Sands. <laughs> Winged Sands. One name. Whoopsie! Almost dropped my Joy-Con. There we go. Yo, Smash Ultimate, guys. What you gonna be playing it with? What control style is gonna be your your optimal control style? You guys gonna be using GameCube controller, sideways Joy-Con? Just literally gonna take the gamepad and Channel your hands directly into it via electronic signals. Screaming voice controls. Speech to text, speech to input controls on your Switch. How many memes actually happen here? Uh, huh, a fair variety now and again. Thank you very much for the support. Demini uh, demise. <laughs> demise. And uh, thank you very much for, for the support and support. In case. But yeah, I guess that's one meme right there. If you're asking for some memes, we can already start counting them. One, two, and that's actually a snipe. It's not even memes. Excuse me. A little bit more. Thank you very much. But uh, touch screen. Touch screen's controls are optimal. Clearly, if you want to play Game and Watch, it'd be really cool if Game and Watch controlled with like only two buttons, a la his like, like actual games. He doesn't even move, he just moves around the screen procedurally. You just have to choose the move at the right time. <laughs> cool. Glad I was a, glad I was very useful in that little that little action. Hold on a second. I need you to not, buddy. There we go. Wait. Wait. There we go. I love how that actually works. It's very, very nice. Hack it for Smash. Yo, speaking of hack it for Smash. Y'all see that Shantae is in as a spirit? That's something I completely missed recently. Shantae is actually in Smash Bros. as a spirit. That's so cool! I had, I had zero faith that there would be any other indie representation other than, um, other than Shovel Knight. But you gotta admit, that's actually wild. I also really like, okay, okay. You guys, you guys know what I don't like? I really don't like the idea of um, assist trophies and spirits being a badge of dishonor nowadays, a medal of you did not make it a participation trophy. I am, that's a very terrible way to think of assist trophies. Am I, is, am I insane in saying that? Like if Bandana D got in as an assist trophy, I'd be popping off. Like, like, maybe that's just me. Maybe I don't know what it feels like to have your favorite character as an assist trophy for 10 years. Maybe that's maybe that's where, where, where some people are at. And to that degree, I can understand. 
But I feel like people are too quick to lash out at like, like if if, if Bandanity was confirmed as an assist trophy, I guarantee to you, people would DM me that day, like, oh wow, how sad are you that he's an assist trophy? Boy, I'd be popping off. I wouldn't be sad at all. That's so cool to me. Now, of course, I'd prefer him as a fighter, but I just want my boy to see to see some representation in my favorite fighting game, my favorite series, my favorite franchise. Even if I can't play as him, I'm just cool to see him in the, in the glorious Smash Brothers world. Something about I thought that might, might have been death for a second. Something about that that is just wild to me. Also, real talk, I'm so happy that Kirby's the main protagonist. Oh my god. Can we talk about Ultimate? Is that what's gonna happen today? Oh, let's see. Is that what's gonna happen today? I can already feel it. I haven't talked to you guys. I haven't given you guys my 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 rundown on my opinions. On everything that, that has happened recently. I haven't fully expressed all my thoughts, and I feel like because of that, I'm, I'm sort of holding them in. But, uh... But yeah, as you could probably expect, I'm extremely hyped for Ultimate, as you guys know. Uh, I mean... Jigglypuff apparently got some buffs. I was I was recently, like, s like watching back and sort of studying the, uh, the single game where someone has used Jigglypuff in. And, uh, yo, Jigglypuff doesn't look like she got, like, an overhaul like Ganon or Zelda, but she does look like she got some buffs. I see more buffs than nerfs, I'll definitely tell you that much. And poor Bowser Jr. apparently got completely nerfed. But, um, Jigglypuff got a little bit better. Her, her uh, her, um, uh, her rollout. So, whoops, I did not think I was going to tell you that. Her, ro her rollout, um... After she hits someone, creates her or, or allows her to like move a little bit to the left and right instead of just falling straight down in, in a spinning motion like it is in Smash 4. If you guys don't know, Jigglypuff is one of the worst characters in Smash 4. I love her, love her dearly. Still use her in doubles from time to time. But me, oh my, she is not that good in singles, in one versus one competition. This is not good. Oh, that jump! Survival skills, let's go. If I can have survival skills like that in Ultimate, I'll be the number one player within days. But, like, yeah, personally, I'm just hoping Jigglypuff gets a little bit more in her, in her toolkit for Ultimate. Looks like she isn't getting any overhauls. She's not getting any vibrantly wild changes. She isn't gonna have a, a Shadow Ball that kills at 30%. But she is gonna have rest. I gotta admit, rest alone gives me hope. Seeing those cool back airs, that, that back air now apparently can combo into itself, gives me some hope. Sing Friday to someone in jail? Oh my god, it's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> it's been 5,000 years. My goodness. It's almost nostalgic seeing that. Sing Friday in jail. Hey, final wave clear. Nice. Now we can actually play normal Splatoon. I'm gonna miss this game. It's a pretty fun game. It's not like it's dying, but I don't know, man. I'm gonna be playing so much Ultimate. <laughs> Daniel, do you have any tips on winning a three-mile race? Run. If someone is running faster than you, run faster than them. Mainly at the end. Mainly at the end. Damn, when is that karaoke stream? You're right! You're right, Marcy. I forgot about the karaoke stream. I owe it to you guys. I will do a karaoke stream one day. I don't want to... I'd rather do it sooner than later. But yeah. Then Miss Delta River? No, no, no. Look at look at the title of the live stream. Delta Rune is up second. Have you really even realized I exist? I see you, Emil. Hard for me to realize every single person in chat. It, I, I, I'm a little bit too lucky <laughs> to be able to have this many people like attend my live streams, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm just excited for everything that Smash Ultimate presents. Everything. That is thrown my way in Smash Ultimate. I will enjoy to some degree. Alright, um, let me get cozy in here. Boop. There we go. Uh, sing Megalovania. <clears throat> okay. Do 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 do. Done. What should Cozy dress up as this this month? I know we've missed a couple months here. Yo, biker gang! <laughs> Yo, biker gang, Cozy! Why not? <laughs> Let's go, Biker Gang Cozy. 
I'm in with it. Yo, this is why I, this is why I love Splatoon still so much though. Ah, oh, this customization, man. The Octo Gang Cozy. <laughs> Biker Vimo. I love it. Oh god. So cool. Oh my goodness. Coasty's gonna like step on squids. Use the white heat ink rider and punk whites. I don't know, man. This is I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Punk whites and what and uh Let me see this. Um You know what game I've been playing recently? I've been playing Rhythm Heaven. Rhythm Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. And it is so good. Like, so good. Oh, I like that. But I kind of like what I had before, I'm not going to lie. And I have a song stuck in my head. Ooh. Ooh. I like this one. I, I, I what, what kind of shoes do you say I should rock? I kind of like the black boots, I'm not going to lie. It has that little contrast going on. Has a crazy nice contrast. Oh, these were the ones you were talking about. Punk lights. I like it. And I, I might be insane, but I really like the Neo Octoling boots. Then like, yo. Cozy. Cozy gonna slay some squids. This place shapes and beats. It's a, it's a very fun game. Let's go, Kosi. Oh, I have a team of all chargers right now. I'm very sorry, Salty Succulents. Any thoughts on who you want the other DLC characters to be? Yo, can I just get literally Bandana Waddledy? That's it. That's all I care about. Bandana Waddledy. Like, it, someone's named Daniel in this group. I feel called out. But, um... But yeah, nope. Uh, I'm I'm just very uh oh really that's that's, that's, that's cool about that that um Xander Mobius fact chat. Also, hoy I'm Tem. Thank you for two dollars, biker gang. <laughs> this image was made by the by the Wumi gang. Let's go, Kosi. I love it. Um, God, what was I what was I talking about though? Um, I talk about a lot of things on these live streams now and again. Not sure if you know. Yo, what's up, uh, Slipey? Slipey? Slip? I apologize. I do not know the pr the pronunciation of your name. That's right. We're not dealing with AI anymore. It's actual people. It's Deku. Goodness, I forgot what I was talking about though. Do please do Delta Rune now. No. I like Splatoon more. Splatoon is better than Delta Rune. Fight me. Also, I love the people that are like, man. Undertale is so much better than Deltarune. Yeah, of course it is. Deltarune is a demo. Am I insane? Deltarune is just a demo, right? Or is it meant to be like a full game or some sort of prequel? Oop, I got an alarm going off. That's okay. Thank you, Bixby. Bixby was trying to read off a message to me. That's okay. But yeah, it's just like, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, um... Really, why on earth are people saying that, like, I don't know, man. It, it's just tiring. Like, give it a second, guys. Give Toby Fox some time to work it, it into a game that, uh, that he'll be able to enjoy and, and, and love. Game dev isn't that easy. What does what, what this push? Oh, I now see what this push is. At first, I didn't see it, but now I get it. Really not, though. Dude, I can't wait to use the Splat Bomb in Ultimate. That's gonna be so cool to me. What if, why am I thinking I was hidden? Why did I think I was hidden? I have the football on my back, hurled. A small child on my shoulders. I have to protect it. But yeah, no, I can't wait to use the Splat Bomb in Ultimate. That's so exciting to me. Because I love the Splat Bomb in, in, in Splatoon. I can't wait to, like, actually use the, uh, the Splat Bomb... Abilities in ultimate. It's gonna be cool. Guys, start Delta Rune chant? No. Start that, I won't play it. <laughs> Sorry, gamers. But nah, man. 
I feel like this is a, this is a cool time for, for Undertale to have a have a restart. They say no fandom is perfect, but I don't know, man. The Undertale fandom has the chance to restart itself, to refresh itself. I feel like this is not the time to start making the Undertale community obnoxious. If you're out there being toxic, and you're part of that under and you're part of that Undertale world, I really don't want you in the community. It's not my community. I'm not even gonna be a part of that community. I'm just saying, man. Don't be a toxic gamer. If you're out there telling people what's right and what's wrong when you don't even know yourself and it's just completely based on opinion, I feel like that, I feel like that needs to calm down a little bit. You're more than welcome to express your opinion, but please do so in a way that, that isn't completely dismissive and very rudely dismissive. I think that I think that's the big thing. The big thing is don't be rude. Be, com be kind, courteous, and open to others' opinions. I feel like that, 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 that's a pretty way to, to go about fixing a community. Have patience. I think that the best way to fix any community is to have patience and open thought process. Allow yourself to be corrected by new ideas and new opinions. Makes you into, into a better person overall, not just a community. Also, real talk. Clamblitz can go die. It's the worst mode. If you guys think Clamblitz is actually like a decent mode, I hope you guys unsub from my channel. Never talk to me again. If I ever see your face at a local, I will personally. I'm not gonna even continue this bit. It doesn't deserve to be continued. <laughs> God, Clamblitz best mode. No ban, ban. Moderators, moderators, moderators. This is a no clam blitz chat. Please clam blitz them to the shadow realm. Temi flakes for 1G. Oh my goodness, is that someone with an Undertale name in my chat? How dare thank you very much for two dollars. <laughs> I love criticize boat. Not that not criticize, hypocritical boat. Just end the punchline. Hey, Daniel, I agree. Um also, thank you very much, Cosmic Sauce, for the, for the support. What are your thoughts on Incineroar and Ken in Smash? Okay, uh, take care of Waddle Dee, boy. Like your name. So, here's the thing. Here, he Here's the thing, gamer. Sorry, I was adjusting my mic. I just felt the urge. Okay, so, here's the thing. I thought the leaks were real. I'm not gonna lie. I thought the leaks were real. Look at Cozy! Oh! Sorry, she's adorable. Um, I thought the leaks were real. I thought we were going to get Banjo, I thought we were going to get Geno, I thought we were going to get Isaac, I thought we were going to get Mock Rider, I thought we were going to get uh, Choir Kids. Uh, here's the thing. I am with the opinion of I was disappointed with the pacing. I feel like what is in the game is factually just amazing. I guess it's not factually amazing, but I feel it's factually just like incredible the amount of characters that are in, that are in there. Um... Also, thank you for the support, Jose Bit 3000 You guys are crazy. I never get this much, like, tip support from you guys. I, I, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Um, I feel like the pacing of the final direct was a little weird. I, I, here's, here's why I think it was weird. Remember that direct when we got King K. Rule and Dark Samus and, like, a total of five characters? I feel like some of those announcements would have been best for a final direct i feel this one was a little just strange i didn't mind them talking about the brightness and the options uh, i agree it didn't fit in for a final smash direct but if they gotta talk about it they gotta talk about it i just feel like we were missing the last character revealed it i feel incineroar is an amazing character to add but i wouldn't have made him well that's gonna kill i wouldn't have made him the last character that was almost like prompting something big to happen. Because Incineroar would be a great... I think if King K. Rule was the last character they had. Nah, I think Simon Belmont. If Simon Belmont was the last character they added, that would have been way more climactic. Our cool, hard to, hard to imagine third party in Smash. Amazing. Great way to end a Nintendo Direct. Great way to end the Smash Directs. I feel like that would have done it right there. Unfortunately, we didn't get that done. 
spirits don't get me wrong do not get me wrong for a second spirit is already sorry i hesitated because someone in chat says Kimmy is trying to drop you gotta admit that <laughs> i might have thrown off my thought process a little bit reading that reading that message um throw off my thought pro my thought process uh i feel like spirits beyond good amazing mode i feel i feel like it's genuinely like like a really cool thing that they've added to this game I, you know, But, I feel like it was definitely the best way they could have ended it, considering they didn't want to announce any other characters. I feel like, like that, that was pretty much how they needed to do so. I just feel like there was a lack of a character. They, 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 they could have added... Good dunk, buddy. I feel like they could have added one more character. One more, like, by the way, we've also added Banjo-Kazooie. Nah, obviously not Banjo-Kazooie if you didn't want to add Banjo-Kazooie, you know, to teach their own. But, like... I just feel like they, 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 we missed out on something. We probably didn't miss out on anything. I, I just feel like, like they missed out on something. They missed out on, on dropping one more, like, really crazy anchor. Because I, like, I feel like these, like, reveals, like, these reaction things, or rather, sorry, not reactions. These, these reveals are all about the final character. Who is it? Who is going to get the last coveted spot in the greatest fighting game crossover event of all time. Who's it gonna be? Who's getting it? Incineroar. Like, I, I think Incineroar is fine. I think, once again, it's a fun character to add in the game. But that's the anchor? That That's the final character in the roster? Now, Piranha Plant is, is from what I understand, the DLC. Like, like Piranha Plant is DLC. He's not... Like, see, here's what I'm hoping. Here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that the DL, the last DLC character will be that. The last DLC character will be, like, Banjo or someone that has a, a, a lot of hype behind them. Like, like, some sort of third party that we never saw coming. That from now on we'll never be able to see Smash without. Something like that. I feel like that's where the DLC can come in handy. Because right now, it's still okay. The real last super... Yeah, exactly, Tail. Exactly. Like, this, I'm fine with. I just feel like this was a comma and not a not an exclamation point. You know what I mean? Well, I, I like what this guy's doing. I feel like if this... If, if this if Smash hype was a, was a sentence, this felt like a, like, 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 like a comma. Or even like a period. It really didn't feel like, a, like an exclamation point. It felt like we got the exclamation point earlier in the sentence. If that if that helps convey my, my my feelings on this. It's like all the hype is there. The sentence is there. All the words come together to make a make a coherent thing. But the difference between an exclamation point and a period in a sentence is, is important. I feel like that, like that's the best way I can put it. The content's gonna be amazing. Literally, it will be my favorite Smash Brothers game, from what I understand. Sorry, something got in my eye there. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm right. I'm right. It's still about hype for the story mode. Did you see? I okay. I don't like getting angry at questions or frustrated at questions. But y'all, did you see the event, the the video I put out? I made a video exclusively screaming. About the announcement of the story mode. I'm almost mad at YouTube if you didn't see that. But yeah, man, I don't know. Yes. Very hype. <laughs> to put it put it strictly, I, I am very hype for for everything that um that's gonna be coming out. Oh my god, man. Smash Ultimate. What a fun time this is going to be. What a fun time. Let's do a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more. Again, check out my drawing of Biker Cozy. Yeah, give it a shot. Dude, lifelike cover? Oh, dude, I will totally do a lifelike cover. In in my little um karaoke session, I will do a lifelike cover. Life like. Hold on. Lifelike cover. Those are the words. Those are the words. Let's do a league battle. Teams. If you've played today, do not hop in. That way we can fit in a bunch of people. All fours. 
Da-dum bum ba 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 dum bum ba bum ra da dum da 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 dum 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 ba 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 bum 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 bum. God. Like if there's an insanely hyped character, I think it would take away from World of Light. I don't know. I really don't know if it would take away from World of Light because they they already have had two hype things in a row. They did Everyone Is Here followed by Ridley. I feel it would just give us one of those, uh, like another moment of like, stuttering in pure awe as like radiant light gets cast into our eyes directly from our monitors. Like, you know, so it's another one of those things. What is this comment? Do you want Hat Girl to be in Splatoon? No. <laughs> what a strange comment. Sorry, that was a little bit, sorry, that was a little bit, uh, a little bit rude for me. No, I, I, I personally don't want it. Because I feel like, what? <laughs> strange, strange connection to be made. I'll admit it would be interesting, but, uh, nope. <laughs> I think they can all live in their own universes and have a fun time. Hat Girl for Smash! Now, Anissa. Now, Anissa. Hat Girl for a Smash. Now we're talking. I feel like your question was placed in a strange location. You know what's actually crazy to me? You know what's wild to me? Hat Kid might be able to get a spirit one day. Maybe not for this round. Because I think the mo the biggest indie representation we'll see is Shantae and Shuffle Knight. But look, man. One day. We might see them there. Y uh, Yellow Kazoo, what is your rank in school to Oh, what's up, Yellow Kazoo? Uh, S plus and X. In like half and half. Yeah, man. Oh. I hope the Mii's are good. Please give me good Mii's. If we have good Mii's, I will be a happy boy. Because then we'll actually be able, be able to, like, play as any character. More or less. Such as Rex. Makes me almost sad. Dude, Roka, my roommate, who is such a big Xenoblade fan. He was so sad to see Roka confirm... Or er, Roka. Uh, might as well be. To see Rex confirmed as a, uh, a Mii. I feel like me is a slight slap in the face. It might, okay, okay, okay. That, 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 that's kind of hypocritical for me to say. I feel like if you're a big fan of any character, it's going to be disappointing when you see they're not a playable character. But you can't completely be mad if they are in a Cistrophia or a me costume. Because that means they at least have representation. They're at least getting the limelight in some degree. Also, thank you for the support to Noah. Yo, what's up, Noah? Oh, hey, Felbo is playing Splatoon 2. Realize the switch never charges. Too late to plug in the switch dog. Yeah, potentially big same. I mean, yo! Okay, okay, okay. Daniel, why'd you suddenly get hyped? Because I remembered, like, the most important part of the direct that I got super hype over but did not get super hype over on stream that I can now talk about. You guys can play with me super easy on in Ultimate. So in Ultimate, this is how it works. This, this is how it works in Splatoon. If I want to add you guys to play Splatoon with me, here's what happens. I have to add you on some sort of public account, or I have to get your friend code, or it's some super obnoxious thing like that, and you can't be added into my room unless I manually add you, and it's not like, like, yeah. Pretty much it creates a situation where only sponsors can really join. Otherwise, it would take me forever to add people, which is pretty much why I discontinued the fail fleet account but now I'm not sure if you guys are saw but smash arena did you guys see smash arena me and my friends went through and analyzed it there in smash arena you can create public lobbies that have passwords on them with custom names meaning I can literally just open up lobbies that I give the password to you guys and I can give the password only to my sponsors sometimes or I can make it so like all of the um like, like literally everyone can do that then just use the app and make a PB through that can you make a private battle through that no I'm confused can you do that in Splatoon? I don't think you can do that in Splatoon I think in order to have people hop in Splatoon private battles they have to be on your friends list what I'm getting at is that people don't have to be on my friends list like, like, in Splatoon, you gotta be on my friends list to join in private battles. Or on a friend's friends list. Kind of a thing. 
But it's one of those things, it's like... Now we don't have to worry about that. I can literally just create a lobby. And you guys can just hop in. Let's go armor. Never mind, I'm bad. That's why I'm happy. It's kind of like Mario Kart. Yeah, I believe so. That's why I'm just so, like, so, I, I'm so ecstatic about that. Also, y'all, we can make Smash Bros. Machinimas. Did you guys see the new camera mode? And how it's, like, very centric around, like, like being able to free flow your camera and stuff? Dude, everyone thought I was exploding TNT. No one was ready for when I became the Smash Brothers exploding TNT. Everyone's memeing. Oh my god, Failboat's exploding TNT. I'm about to create a brand new channel. Exploding Smash Balls. All it is, is creating Smash Brothers machinimas. I cannot wait. It's going to be the craziest life. Damn, we're not going back to Melee machinimas. I, we will and you can't stop me or the internet. Taylo, you're on the wrong side of history. We are doing melee. We are doing melee. Really bad, really horrible, but perfect in its in its nature. Smash Bros. Machinimas, and there's nothing the world can do to stop it. That's all I'm saying. Sorry, gamers. Fail mode is over. Exploding Smash Balls is what it'll be from now on. I can't wait to have a host of characters. Dude, purple Pichu. Purple Pichu and pink pink Pikachu. It's perfect. The characters are already coming together as we speak. By the way, I actually may do one of those as a quick parody. I'll 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 do a a, a exploding TNT parody in in Smash Ultimate. I may actually do that. Smash Cinemas. Tell you God, yes, we can change the name to that. Literally one day I will do that. Cause I know I will be down on ultimate content one day. I'll do an exploding TNT parody. But it but it but it Alright, new group. We're gonna be doing uh Delta Rune. Uh, in like 10 minutes. So let's get a new group of people in here. If you join in before, don't join in again. All eights. I probably won't like it. <laughs> Dude, what if I make like, like, like a third YouTube channel? Literally just called. Like, like literally, literally just designed for the purpose of doing Smash Enemas. It's like an April Fool's Day stunt. Uh, three hours. Uh, Giotti. Uh, it, it, it's literally just for one week. I just make sh Smash Enemas. It's a whole bit on the channel. Now, it probably won't just be. If I do that, it probably won't just be exploding Smash Balls. Or maybe I will! And I'll clear it with TNT first. Make sure it doesn't look like I'm undercutting him. That would be an amazing- that, that would be so funny to do. I'd have a blast. Uh, where's my junior? Yeah, yeah. Why am I even rocky on this gear? Strange gear. Feel free to join in now. If you guys hop- if you guys hopped in before, feel free to join in. At this point, we, uh, we're starting to slow down on the people coming in here. Smash funny moments, but it's from you? Yeah, man, I will. Oh my goodness. Smash Bros. is going to have an infinite, infinite amounts of funny moment content. Infinite moments. I came for Deltarune? No worries, Evie. We'll be switching in 10 minutes. Big faith in the chat newcomers to not spoil or do early plot reveals regarding Deltarune. Eh, fair enough. Yeah, no. Uh, like I, I'd rather not read the chat during Deltarune segment because I know you guys like to spoil things. Also, you know what I got recently? 
a slide whistle, but I, you know what? Something I got coming soon tomorrow, even though I, I won't actually be streaming tomorrow. So here's the thing. Daniel, you're gonna make a combo compilation? Yes. You okay? Let me just say one one thing before I talk about what I just bought. For like one month after Smash Ultimate comes out, I will become like a stereotypical Smash Four content creator. I love my Smash 4 content creator boys, but I'm gonna do like all the tropey things. I'm going to like, like make a combo video. I'm going to make fun on For Glory. I I'm gonna do like all the typical Smash content creator things because I think like I won't play any other game like until uh I won't play like any other game. Until I'm, I'm satisfied with Smash Ultimate. Which might be like a few days. Okay. Here's the thing. This is what this is in regards to what I recently bought off Amazon. Do you guys know Parsec? Are you guys aware of the wonderful program called Parsec? Pretty much not sponsored or anything. Maybe one day I would like to get, but... Parsec is a program that lets you uh, screen share, more or less, or, or cast your gameplay to a friend's computer uh, where they can join in on games. More or less, easier way of saying it, is you know how some games, like a hat in time, have local multiplayer only as their multiplayer? So you can only play with two player with someone sitting right next to you? Parsec's goal is, and Parsec, what Parsec has already done, is to create a way for you to play local multiplayer games online via a, a personal stream to a friend from which they create a virtual controller on your computer, and it's very complicated, uh, but very cool if you think about it. More or less, all you need to know is it turns local multiplayer games into online multiplayer games. Now... I don't know what you're thinking. What do you? What, what, what's this have to do with anything, Daniel? I recently used it for a Hat in Time video where I played with the Buzz, and the Buzz is a competitive Smash player, and he said there was like no, there was no lag. Even I, I, I did a sample of it later on. There is no lag with it. It's, it's very scarily how little lag there is, being none, uh, or if there is any, it's really not noticeable. And here's the thing: using a pretty long-winded setup method. There is a way to do that with Switch games. It's pretty complicated, and it requires some external things, some of which I already had on me. But, I want to say right now, going forward, I want to create some local multiplayer Switch game content online with other people. What's this mean? Collabs. Collabs. Think of the collab possibilities of being able to play local multiplayer games online with people. Here's the issue with the, with this with this concept, with this with this thing. Basically you're doing online better than Nintendo, more or less. More or less, I'm just accessing the things that can't be accessed online online. Here's the thing. Biggest issue of all of this is that with this setup, my friend would not have access to motion controls. Meaning, while this is a cool concept, it is limited to only certain games. For example, I believe the co-op in Pokemon Let's Go revolves around motion controls. It cannot be completed without motion controls. Or, uh, Joy-Con, which is actually very stupid. Because the way I would have to emulate the controller using Parsec is with a virtual controller, or is with a pro controller. Pretty much, if the game requires you to use a Joy-Con to play, such as Pokemon, such as uh, Mario Party, it cannot work. Which sucks, it's stupid. Why I don't know why Nintendo would limit us to controllers like this. But it's also something that we can't change right now. Maybe unless modding comes up. I don't want to worry about it. I don't want to think about modding right now. But yeah. Pretty much more or less. There are some games it'll work on. 
and some games it can't work on. And some games it's just not fun for it to work on, even though if it does work on it. What I want to do is find some games on the Switch and play them. Play them with people. Now, one thing I have I have an interest in doing is using um, the same setup but a copy of Brawl. I want to do the Subspace Emissary online with people. Also, GG's. That's something I would love to do. I think that requires a little bit of extra software on my part. But I want to try and do online Subspace Emissary. Which would be a wild series leading up to Ultimate. Because with, with Ultimate on the horizon, I think people are itching to see some, some, some Smash gameplay. It'd be cool to have a look back at the original story mode. Oh, But yeah, pretty much that's the plan. I'm literally practicing Brawl with Snake right now. <laughs> I feel he is cool, Clamp Pearl. Anyway. Thank you all for watching. We're going to be back in three to five minutes with good old, um, good old Delta Rune. Lost my own train of thought for a second there. And then to end it off today, we'll be going to meet Topia. But for now, we're going to be going to Delta Rune. I'll see you guys in three to five minutes. I'm not going to really go anywhere. I'm just going to turn on the uh, BRB section. But, uh, if I see any spoilers in chat, I won't time you 